Hi folks, I hope this instructional video finds you well. I was asked to put together uh, this few guidelines, student guidelines for your upcoming summer assessments for 2020. The first thing that I would ask you to do is to check the timetable for your exams carefully. Take note of the time and date each exam is due to start. You will have three school days from this date to complete and submit your test. So if you will find these summer assessments on the school app. They were posted up some days ago. So for here, Monday the 18th, first years have history. They will have three full days within which to submit that assessment. And then that will be taken down from the online format on Thursday the 21st of May. Make sure you know when your option subjects are on. And this is very easy to do. You look at your class timetable in the back of your homework journal. And where it says here for the fourth year options, when the fourth years have a double period three and four on a Thursday and it lists the subjects that are on at that time that's called four option one and then you just locate that on your exam here on timetable you will find it on Monday the 18th for fourth years they will have those option subjects so whatever they have for periods three and four on a Thursday that's when that test will be available to them. The reason we're asking you to check this is so that you will know which days certain subjects are on and this will help you to plan a revision timetable and maximise your time wisely and effectively. If you're answering any test in a copy, please make sure of the following. Write as clearly as possible. If you find it hard to read, so will your teacher. And if we can't read it, we can't grade it. Make sure all questions are numbered correctly and this is the exact same as in any classroom test and the, uh, whether you're at the gym or whether you're in the study hall, this is what teachers repeatedly ask you to do. Also, we will ask you to write your name, your teacher's name, the subject and your class on the top of every page you are sending in. Make sure the picture you are sending is upright and clear. This is very difficult for a teacher to mark. Be sure to rotate the image if it is sideways and check that the handwriting is clear before sending. So if you've taken a picture and it's coming out like this on your phone gallery, just locate this rotate icon here, click on that and it will put the image upright. And if you still cannot read what you've written, make sure that you take the picture again. And the last thing then is to make sure you number each page and send the pictures in order. Otherwise, your teacher will not know the order of your answers. And again, you want to make it as easy as possible for the teacher so that they'll be as nice as possible when they're grading your results. If you are sending your test to a teacher via email, please use the school email address provided for you. This is your name with your year of your entry at coloshtenda.ie. Please use this email address only. To send anything to a teacher, Use the first letter of their name in the address bar here, followed by a dot, then their surname at kaloshtaenda.ie. As you start typing, some options will appear. You'll see the teacher's name in the drop down menu. You click on that and it will automatically insert your teacher's name into the address bar. The next thing you need to do is to add a subject in for your email. Only type your full name, subject, and class in this in this um, subject tab here. So Joe Josephson, Religious Education B3, that's all you type in that. This helps your teacher to identify who's sending in an answer for which assessment, for which year group and for which class. The last thing I would draw your attention to is the little attach icon at the bottom of your email. If you want to attach all photographs of your work in the correct order, Word documents, drawings, etc., you can do this by clicking on the paper clip icon and locating the work you have saved on your phone or device. When you've located it on your phone or device, be sure to click open to attach a pic or a document. And when that, it'll come up on the top of your email here to show the list of attachments. And when you're happy with that, then you can click send and it will be sent to the appropriate teacher. If you are sending a Word document, follow these simple rules. Make sure your name, your teacher's name, your subject and class are clearly marked at the top of your page. And this is the exact same way as it would be for any exam at any stage in the school. Use Only use Times New Roman font at a size 12 to make it easy for your teachers to read and correct. So you'll see it there in the image. 
use paragraphs and be sure to number each question at the start. It's very difficult for a teacher just to read a big long body of text. If you have paragraphed it out and you have each question numbered correctly, the teacher will be much better able to get, assign you the marks for the work that you've done. When you are saving your document to be sent via the school email, save it as your name, your teacher's name, your subject and your class. Remember, your teachers will be receiving hundreds of exam answers and they will not have the time to figure out who sent them what if they are not clearly labelled. If you are answering your assessment online, you will get a notification via your Teams account that a, a new assignment is ready for you according to the assessment timetable. When you log in, you will be able to access it in the usual way. At the end of an assignment, you will see these three dots. If you click on these three dots, you will be able to open your online assessment or quiz in Teams. You'll be able to answer your questions within the forms, and when you are happy with your answers, click Submit at the end of the form to send it back to your teacher. So all that's left for me to do is to wish you the best of luck. Remember, this is as new to you as it is to us, so we're trying to all do our best here, and that's all we ask of you is to do your best, um, and we wish you all well. Take care.